Hey friends, it's Laura and I'm coming at you with the last process video for the month of August on my Patreon channel. And the August challenge for my Patreon channel was to incorporate circles into your scrapbooking layout. And I am going to create an entire background patterned paper made of little circles that I die cut. So I cut these out of different pattern papers using my manual die cutting machine, which took quite a while. So I just sat down and kept rolling it back and forth through the die cutting machine while I was watching TV. And you can see how I'm going to lay them out on this 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock here. And I really love how it's looking. I just chose four so patterned papers that I thought would complement my photographs really well. And I think they do. I chose really well with those papers. And once I get them laid down, I'm going to start distressing the edges here. So that way they kind of roll up off of the page and there's lots of texture and dimension to them. And then I'm going to take some double sided tape and then tape them all down. And this background took so long to make. I narrow it down to like a minute and a half on this video, but in real life it took hours and hours to cut out all those circles and then to distress all of the circles and then to glue down all of the circles. But I really love how it turned out in the end and I love all the texture and dimension that the distressed circles really add to the page. To have the background look like it's coming up off of the page is really fun and unique I think. So you could see how that looks here with all the circles on the page. I think it turned out phenomenally. And once I get all the circles down, I'm gonna work on matting my photographs. I use white paper to mat the picture of the waves and the beach. And then I use this gorgeous mint paper to create a photo mat of the photo of my sister and I. Really love that paper there. It is one of my first times ever playing with Felicity Jane paper. And I'll tell you what, their cardstock is just so smooth and the most beautiful colors. I really love her colored cardstock. It is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna lay this doily down that does make it to the final layout. And yeah, I think it just adds a little bit more of that touch. So I guess that's 169 circles on the patterned paper background there. And I managed to use up two six by six papers and two six by eight pattern papers to cut out all of those circles. So I feel like I made a really good dent in my little patterned paper stash there, my smaller papers. I mean, to use up four of them in one layout and to still have it be the white background, I think is pretty awesome. So once I do all of that, I start decorating my photo. As you can see, I am creating some clusters of different embellishments. I love all of these stickers. I've got some seashells. I'm using a lot of Sunny Day stickers. I've got a lot of phrases there. And the Sunny Days collection is so perfect for all of these pictures because it is beach themed. And I'm going to need another pack of those 6x12 stickers because I am going through them quite quickly. And you could see I had laid down that sticker of the heron and I was fully intending to go back and lay it back down onto my layout and I never end up doing it. So it, when I go back and look at this later when I'm going to put it away, if I still feel like that heron should be on the page, I'm going to add it because I love the way that cute little bird looked on top of my photos. And if you didn't know, herons are one of my favorite birds. Herons and pelicans, I think, are the coolest. I used to live in Florida, and the birds in Florida are just really, really cool. Like, they're, they're beautiful and awesome looking and really unique looking. So... As you can see, I've got my clusters built up here. I'm also adding some chipboard pieces. I've got that chipboard adventure phrase, and then I also added quite a few chipboard circle phrases. 
and really loving how this is looking and it's allowing me to use more circle things up from my stash with all those little chipboard pieces. I think I end up using four circle chipboards on this layout along with all of those circle die cut patterned papers. And once I finish embellishing all around my photographs. I've got a title worked out here and the title is going to say St. Petersburg but right now it is not legible. <laughs> and this is really fun because you can see here how I still use my alphabet stickers and thickers even after a lot of the necessary letters that I need to create titles are gone. So you can see I'm missing all the E's that I need for St. Petersburg. And for the first E and St. Petersburg, I use an F. And then I'm going to cut off another piece of this number four here. And I'm going to use that to fill in all the little extra spots that I need to turn that F into an E and then also the second E in St. Petersburg was just an I and I'm going to do the same thing add a few other little stickers that I had cut down from this thicker pack from one of the letters that I wouldn't commonly use a lot of and you can see I just go in and I add little bits and pieces and kind of piece together the letters that I need. And I end up adding another phrase there. I thought the top was still a little bit too empty. So I add the words ocean waves and I thought that was perfect because one of the pictures is of the ocean waves. And that allowed me to use up a lot more letters from that alphabet pack too. And my alphabet sticker stash has been out of control for like the last year or so. And I really need to use some of them up. So I'm really excited that I used up quite a few in this layout. And I think that'll be a really fun challenge in future months. I think I might do one whole month of using up my alphabet stickers. I think that would be a really cool monthly challenge to do with really long time titles and unique ways of using the alphabets. So you can see here, hopefully that was a good example of how I create the letters I need using the letters that I have to make titles. And I really love how it looked. I finished off this layout with some black paint splatters. I think I might have gone a little overboard and added a few more splatters than I probably needed to, but that's okay. I love how it looks and you know, it's beautiful and very mixed media. And I love the texture that that circled background gives it. So this is what the finished layout looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm so excited to be coming at you in a few days announcing the challenge for September and how we're going to be getting crafty in September. I hope you have enjoyed this first month of my Patreon channel. Thank you so much for being here. Your support means the world to me and I'm so excited to grow this community and provide incredible content for you guys and hopefully really inspiring process videos. If you like this video, leave a comment down below and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!